my name is Melissa, and the article I'm going to be discussing today is Breast Implants, the Emotional Journey Behind Them. We're surrounded by the idea that women have to have large breasts, a large booty, and a small waist in order to be considered beautiful. In an environment like di this, does having small breasts make one feel less feminine? Breast implants are becoming more and more common. In fact, according to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, breast augmentation is the top plastic surgery performed today. A total of 300,000 American women received breast implants in 2011 alone. Now, breast implants have been proven positive for the majority of women who receive them. They feel an increase in self-esteem, in positive body image, and in sexual satisfaction. However, it has also proven to further deepen more serious psychological problems like body dysmorphic disorder and depression. Women who are planning to have breast augmentation performed need to step into the surgery with realistic expectations and the realization that having breast implants put in won't magically make them feel better about themselves. If they have more serious body issues, they need to sort those out before they get surgery. As David K. Wellish, a professor of psychology at UCLA, says, uh, many women I've encountered simply aren't happy with their bodies and wish to improve them. They have realistic expectations that if this is done, they will look more satisfying to their own eye and to others, but their self-esteem does not depend on it. While breast implants do help women feel better about their bodies, it's important that a woman's self-esteem does not depend on her cup size. A study of 24,600 women conducted by researchers from the University Label Faculty of Medicine, the Canadian Public Health Agency, and Cancer Care Ontario found that the suicide rate among women with breast implants is 73% higher than in the general population. General consensus seems to be that if you're going to have breast implants put in, you need to love yourself before going into the surgery. If you're unhappy with your body in general, you may want to take a step back and look in the mirror before deciding whether or not breast augmentation is really the right option for you. Now, while the studies that have been conducted are helpful, it's important to note that only 24,600 women were surveyed. And considering that over 300,000 women received breast implants in 2011 alone, 24,600 women is really a small number compared to the whole population of women who received breast implants. So the results that they got from that study could be slightly skewed just because they had a rather small number. Still, the numbers are something we don't want to ignore, and if anything, we need to be supportive of women who are having problems with their body image, whether or not they've received breast implants. So what do you guys think? Have you or anybody you know ever received breast implants? And are breast implants positive for our society, or are they only creating more body issues for women who have and haven't received them? Check out the article in the description and let us know what you think. If you like this video and you want to see more videos with me in it, go ahead and click thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from Psych2Go, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Please also make sure to check out our Twitter, our Tumblr, and our Facebook page. The links are going to be down in the description. Thanks for joining me here at Psych2Go, and I'll see you next time!